What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another search engine optimization tip video. In today's tip video, I'll be showing you Sitebulb, what it is and why you should be using it. So Sitebulb is a desktop based application that allows you to basically crawl your website to uncover technical SEO opportunities. So after installing the application and running your first initial audit, then you'll be met with this dashboard. So Sitebulb will basically grade your website in four different buckets, ranging from the overall audit score, your SEO score, how secure your website is, and then page speed metrics. On top of that, it will also give a quick high level overview of the URLs it crawled and how far away they are from the home page as far as crawl depth goes, and how many URLs sit in that crawl depth. You go into the URLs tab. It gives you a bunch of different metrics from the pages it crawled. So first you have a URL rank. So the show is based on your website only, which pages are perceived to be the most authoritative or important. It'll give you uh, status codes, basic meta information, such as your meta title, meta description, your H1s, number of words in your content, how long it takes to read your content, how easy your content is to read, the overall emotional sentiment based on your content, so if it comes off across as neutral, positive, negative, how many links are pointing to that page, and then the parent URL. So if we go back into the Audit Overview tab, we can take a look at some of the hints or recommendations outlined from running a crawl of your website. So for example, if we go into Page Score, or Page Speed Score rather, it'll kind of highlight hints based on importance, so which ones are very important to fix, medium importance, low importance, no issues, or just general insights that are neither an issue or an opportunity. And I'll kind of give you that information based on the highlights of those hints. And what's really cool about this tool is compared to Screaming Frog, where it might not be inherently obvious what you need to fix unless you're a highly technical SEO expert. Sitebulb is a program that anyone can use and be able to identify key hit points to fix for your website. So it'll tell you which ones are the most important, how many URLs are impacted, and that specific thing that you should fix to improve that metric, which is very helpful to get a better understanding as to what's being impacted with these hints. Beyond the hint structure, you can do a number of other things as well, including Looking at link structure, so how your internal navigation is set up. You can look at site visualizations to get a better understanding of how your site was crawled from the home page to make sure that your priority pages aren't too far away from the home page or that you have the right internal linking structure. You can produce PDF reports with all of these hints and information to pass along to implementation teams or your leadership if you're working on a company website, which is very helpful. You can also create XML sitemaps for your website and just a number of other cool options. So in the grand scheme of things, I would say that Sitebulb is very similar to DeepCrawl and Screaming Frog, and it offers a lot of similar functionality. But whereas with a tool like Screaming Frog, it can be a bit of a learning curve to figure out how to use it. Whereas again with Sitebulb, this is just a very simple tool that anyone can use. All you have to do is just plug in your URL and it'll do that crawl for you. Very simple and intuitive for someone who's not an SEO expert. So I would definitely recommend using Sitebulb. I'm still a big fan of Screaming Frog, but I do have to give props to Sitebulb for creating a 
very easy and robust tool that's very comparable. And the price point for Zipbulb is very similar where it costs about 10 euros a month for the subscription. So it's on parity with other tools like Deep Crawl or Screaming Frog that are known as the industry standards for enterprise level websites. So hopefully you found this tip video to be helpful. If you did, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all for the next video.